the superhero of the comic book world, whose adventure began at the age of 13. Today, Chuck Rosansky owns Mile High Comics and the largest collection of Golden Age comic books in the country. In a fascinating interview, Chuck tells us how he feels about inspiring The Simpsons comic book man. Were you flattered by that portrayal? No, I wasn't particularly flattered because I think that that character is very humorous and I, I, I'm bemused by that fact. But the fact that the character also represents a stereotype of comics dealers only being um, dull-witted and rapacious, um, that isn't necessarily the way that I'd like to be remembered. Daniel Johannes emigrated from Ethiopia at age 17 and worked his way up through the banking ranks here in Colorado. The chairman of the country's first green bank, Daniel gives back to the community by helping nonprofit organizations and supporting African art at the Denver Museum. In a revealing interview, this Ethiopian immigrant tells us how he achieved the American dream. Were you ever thinking about going back home or giving up? No, because it was my decision to come here and I had to follow through with my commitment, so no. You know, there were times that was very difficult, there were times that I cried, but at the end I knew that I'll be very successful. Chuck Rosansky and Daniel Johannes, two self-made success stories and two fascinating people to watch. Hi, I'm Bertha Lynn, and welcome to People to Watch.